boys and girls. Do you know who my friend is? Is it Buttons? It is Buttons. He's pretending he's a skunk today. Do you think he's in there? Shall we see? <gasps> there he is. He is was hiding. He heard the story that I read earlier. I love your stinky face. And he was wondering if he was a smelly, stinky skunk, if I would still love him. What do you think? Should I still love him? Yeah, I would love him because he's a good hugger. Yes, I would love him whether he was a stinky, smelly skunk or a giant cyclops or an alligator with sharp teeth. That's what our story was about, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I Love You Stinky Face was the name of that story. Well, we're going to make our craft today. Do you want to help us? We do? Do you want to get in the box? Okay. Well, now we know. I didn't tell you, though, did I? We're going to make a mask for you so you can pretend to be a stinky face. Okay? Do you think your mom and dad will still love you? I bet they will. Okay. Let's see what supplies. Come on. Oh, help. Here we go. All right. Well, we don't have a surprise, but I can show you what supplies we're going to need. We need a pair of scissors. And I have big ones today because in the directions that you'll get at your bag at the Her Library when you pick up your craft bag, I put a note on the directions. You might need adult help today because that's why I have adult scissors because we have to cut something out that's a little tough for little hands. So I have big scissors. Oh, here is glue stick. Yes, I love glue stick. Yes, it's Button's favorite. He loves that. All right, piece of elastic. This is stretchy. Oh, see how it stretches? That's going to hold on your mask to your face. All right, we've got a piece of white felt. Kind of looks like a cloud. There's his hair. This is going to be his muzzle, or his snout. And we've got a white stripe. Oh, how does Buttons look with a white stripe on his nose? And we've got pink for his ears. Oh, I was putting it on his eyeball. What if we put pink on Buttons? It would look lovely with his orange and yellow. And green. Here's a little piece of black paper. And it says nose. Buttons, do you think your nose could be that tiny? Yeah, I think it's a pretty nose. And big piece of black paper, and it's kind of heavy. Remember, he said you might need some help today cutting. That's why, because this is a little heavier than construction paper that you're probably used to cutting. So you might need mom or dad. Going to get that piece out and we will show you what that will turn into. Okay, Buttons, let's close the lid gently. Okay, okay. You lay right here, okay? And you can watch today, just in case we need your face for a little help. All right, boys and girls. So the first things that we're going to do. We're gonna take this black piece of, it's called cardstock. And what you're going to do with yours when you get it out of the bag, you're going to take your scissors or ask mom and dad, or maybe you have a big brother or sister that likes to cut and use tougher scissors. You're going to cut all around this white line and you're going to cut your mask out and it's going to then look like this. Okay, so this is the way, you're, that's the start of your mask. All right. Now, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to glue on the skunk's snout or muzzle. Do you know where that goes? That's going to go right down here. Okay, so put some glue Believe it or not, this glue works very well on the felt. I do have the purple glue, but that's okay. It dries clear. So put glue a 
all over your felt. If you have the type of glue that you squeeze on, that will work too. All right, so I'm going to lay my snout piece right down there. There, it's starting to take shape. Now, the next piece, what do you think we're gonna do next? Yes, the stripe. So we're going to take this long skinny piece and put glue on that. Glue sticks are so handy. And you're going to let it just touch right above his snout and it's going to be right in between the skunk's eyeballs. So we're going to push that down really hard. Okay, so we've got that. So far, it's starting to look like a skunk, isn't it? Now the tricky part, here is the hair. You're going to line up, see? His hair, his fur is sticking that way. So you're going to want to be able to line it up so just like a puzzle, it's going to lay right on top of there. So we'll flip it over to put the glue on the wrong side. Some of your packets, boys and girls, I had some white felt that has sticky back to it. And you'll just peel that back off. So if you have a packet that has that, you won't need as much glue. So you'll just peel that back off. Right, so I've got my glue on that. Now I want to line up the fur strips. Do you see that? How's it coming along? Pretty good. And it certainly does look like a skunk so far. All right, now we need to put his little pink ears in. So your ears, you can lay them down too to see which way you want them to go. They're going to tilt out. So you're going to flip it over to the wrong side, put the glue on it, and then lay each one. How many ears does a skunk have? To your right. How many ears do you have? Eight. Yeah. In the story, the little boy asked his mom if she would love him if he was a cyclops. Cyclops have one eyeball right in the middle of their forehead. And what did the mommy say? She would. She would sing him a lullaby till his one eye got all droopy and sleepy. All right, there we go. Now there's something missing on the snout. The skunk can't breathe yet, can he? He needs the nose. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I have this little piece of black that said nose and I'm gonna cut that little shape out. He has a little nose. Such a little nose for such an animal that can smell so big and stinky. Then I'm gonna put my glue on that. All right, that's going to go right down here on his snout. Okay, and we're gonna push hard because it's gonna lay on to the felt. Make sure you get a lot of glue on there. How's that? There we go. We're almost done. Today was a simple craft, wasn't it? But this is a craft that you can go and play with. Now, remember that elastic? You're going to take it and thread it through. I punched holes in the sides after you get it cut out you're gonna be able to stick your elastic through. So let somebody help you and tie a knot on the one side, and then they can measure your head and see how big to make it. And then you'll thread the elastic through the other side. And you're gonna tie that one also. You wanna tie it pretty tight so it doesn't pop off before you go to sneak up on somebody and say, I love you. Or would you say boo?
What does a skunk say? I know what people say. They say P-E-U when they smell a skunk. And there you have it, boys and girls. You have a skunk face. Should we try it on Buttons? Buttons has been so good sitting over here. Oh, I think it works. There is our skunk face, our stinky face. Well, you boys and girls, you go into the Her Library in Mifflinburg and you can get your craft packet, okay? And you can make a skunk face too, a stinky face. Hope you have fun with it. And remember, always, 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 whatever you're doing, always remember, what is Buttons going to say? To be kind. That's right. All right, boys and girls, you go have a beautiful day. All right?